and I'm here to recruit you. If homosexuals are allowed their civil rights, then so would prostitutes or thieves or anyone else. Forty years old, and I haven't done a thing. I'm not going to be forced out of San Francisco by social deviants and incorrigibles. We need one of our own in office. We could have a revolution here. I don't do losing. There she is, our new campaign manager. You all scared of girls. Ah! You'll be the first openly gay man elected to major office. I think you're part of the machine now. Society can't exist without the family. We're not against that. Can two men reproduce? No, but God knows we keep trying. <laughs> if these people are going to live a life of such open homosexuality, they are going to be removed from their jobs. So we're going to beat this thing. We need everyone. We lose this. We'll have anti-gay laws in all 50 states. Not like most homosexuals I are. Do you know a lot of homosexuals, Dan? Harvey Milk. You will be stabbed and have a night of horror. I'm calling the police. They probably wrote it. You have an issue. It's more than an issue. This is our lives we're fighting for. You get the first bullet the minute you stand at the microphone. You don't have to go up there. All men are created equal. No matter how hard you try. You can never erase those words!